hi Thomas, Ian here. Thomas, you have a query with regards to those contours you created and the fact that they, they don't look that great, they're not very smooth, they look quite disjointed. And that's come through because of the resolution of the SRTM or the grid that you are using. So those 30 meter blocks are sort of coming through in your contours. So let me show you how you can sort of sort that out. So uh, if you don't have a higher resolution DEM, then what you can do is you can use a, uh, an application called Smooth Lines. But let me first create those contours so that we're on the same page. So I'm just going to extract the contours. And I think you set your interval at 10 meters, so I'm just going to run with that, just as it is. Right, there we go. So that's finished running. Now let's see what this looks like. So if we zoom in, you can sort of see that it is fairly blocky. Now, if you've got your um, your processing tools turned on, you can search for a tool called Smooth Lines. So just type in Smooth. I've already done it there, but let's just type that in again. And the one I'm going to use is these. You can try these, actually. You can try these different tools. But let's just start with the Saga one. So open that one. And we're going to use the, the, the lines, the output lines that we've just created. And now I think this is where you must maybe try the different options and see which ones work best. I'm just going to leave it on the default and see what that looks like. So I'll run that. And it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so that has now run. Now you can you can have a look and see what the default settings uh, the result of that looks like, and if you don't like it, you can come in here and just change some of these settings and just muck around with it and see which ones will give you the best result. But that default looks like it worked okay, so I'm going to close that, and you can see that there are some extra lines that are now added. So for instance, this area here has now been smoothed out. Okay, so it does look a little better. Here's another example of where the lines look better. Now they do look better, but that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that they are more accurate, okay? Because they have been smoothed out, so in fact they should be less accurate uh, compared to the original DEM. So that is something you're just going to need to bear in mind. Okay, so if you are happy with this new layer, let's see how we can maybe edit this. And there, I mean, you are going to have a few artifacts in the middle of your new lines layer uh, like these little lines okay uh, now it hasn't removed those but there is a way to remove these if you also want to remove those and you can do that by I'll open up the attribute table for that lines layer and then what I'll do is I'm just going to create a new column uh, let's just call it length and it can be can be a whole number and let's just make it six okay so now what I want to do is I want to run a query which is going to calculate the the length of the lines so I want to update the new column we just created and then I need to type in all right so you're going to type in for your query dollar sign length and then okay and there we go. So now we've got the, the length in meters for each of those lines. So what you could do then is exclude all of the lines that are below or above a certain length. So what is this one? If I just select that one. The length of that is 61 meters. So that's, that is pretty long. So for instance, if you did want to exclude everything above this just for argument's sake, let's just show you how we do that by excluding everything above a certain length. So let's just save the the new updates and then we'll go to properties and you can go to source. So we're going for lines. So these are your new contour lines that have been smoothed out. You're going to source, query builder, length not equal to, or let's go length greater than what should we say? Length greater than 65. Okay. Apply and okay. 
and then all of those little artifacts that were less than 65 won't be shown. So now you'll need to decide if that is going to be a solution for you with regards to removing those artifacts. Okay, so like I said, this is not necessarily as accurate as the original contour layer, but it does look better. Okay, so the next thing you were talking about was uh, labeling. Okay, so now labeling is quite a simple process. We'll just run through the labels for lines. First of all, I'll change that color to something a bit better. Uh, I think an orange will show up quite nicely. There we go. And we'll go to labels, and we're going to label using the elevation. Definitely put a buffer on. Okay, so now there are tons of little lines. So what you should be able to do is change the settings so that, first of all, you, you, you only label the the line once, uh, and then you can also remove um, multiple labels. Well, that's the same thing, really, but let's just see how we can do this. So we'll just change this to, let's go to curved, no, let's go to horizontal, no, parallel, and on the line. Okay, so now it's sitting on top of the line. The other thing you can do is just make them a little smaller so they don't um, take over your view. Okay, and then if we look at the, the rendering option, we should be able to merge connected lines. Okay, that really didn't remove too many, so that, that uh, little function didn't work too well. But what you should also be able to do is limit the number of um, features to be labeled. So it's currently 2,000. If we made that 1,000, it removes them. Um, 500. I mean, if we went, if we were silly and we just said 10, then it removes. Well, only labels 10 objects. Okay, so that's that's how you can um, make it less busy. Um, but I think that is that is something you're just going to have to to play with to see which which option suits suits you best. Oh, 200, if I made that 2,000, then it labels the rest. So possibly the other thing you could do is maybe just change the text buffer size from 1 to 0 0.5. Just makes it a little bit smaller and easier to see, and then it's not going to obstruct anything that's behind. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you. I want to show you how to smooth out the contours that you created from your DEM, and then I wanted to show you how to remove contours or little line artifacts that were less than a certain length and then label so so hopefully that's answered your question give me a shout if you if it didn't or if you have any comments cheers